Hi, my name is John, and I think we can all agree that Minecraft is a whole lot of fun, but at a certain point, you sort of just run out of things to do, and usually that's where people resort to modded Minecraft. And I'm sure you could tell by the title of this video that today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own modded Minecraft server that you and your friends can play on. Now the very first thing you need to do is download Curse Forge and the version of Java that you're going to need. Now if you already have a mod pack picked out that you want to play, it's really easy to figure out what version of Java you need. If you're playing on a mod pack that uses a version of Minecraft of 1.7.10 or before, you're going to need Java 8. If you're running on anything after 1.7.10, you're going to need Java 11. So go ahead and download Curse Forge and download the version of Java you're going to need and then put them both into a folder. Now the next step to do is install both of these programs. Install Curse Forge and then install Java. And once you have both of those things done, open up Curse Forge and then find the mod pack you want to play. Now it's totally okay if you do not have a mod pack picked out yet. I would personally recommend playing some of the Feed the Beast mod packs just because I think they're the most fun and the most encompassing of mod packs in general. But on Curse Forge, you can click on the browse section and you can look through all of the different mod packs they have on there. They have hundreds to pick from. Now once you do pick a mod pack out, all you have to do is go to that mod packs page and at the very top right hand corner, uh, in between the three dots and the install part, there's gonna be a little icon. And if you click that icon, it'll start downloading the server files for you. Now, take this file and put it in the same folder that you had your Curse Forge and your Java install in. That way everything stays clean and neat. Go ahead and extract all of these files into your folder and then double click the start server.bat. Now this, like usual, downloads the licensing agreement. Double click the licensing agreement, change the false to true and save it. And then you're literally done. That is all you have to do to set up a modded Minecraft server. So double click the start server again and you're good to go. Your Minecraft server will start. Now, if your Minecraft server does not start at this point, there are usually two errors that can show up. The first is caused by having the wrong version of Java, and it looks like this. The second error that can show up is if you have a 32-bit version of Java instead of a 64-bit version, and that looks like this. Now, the solution to both of those problems is ridiculously easy. All you have to do is go find the right version of Java, download the 64-bit, and then install it in place of the other Java version that you had. Now, once you've uninstalled the old version of Java, installed the new version of Java, and everything's working again, you should be able to start your server just fine. It's also important to note, in order for people outside of your local home network to connect to your server, you'll have to set up port forwarding rules for Minecraft. Now, while this is not a very complicated thing to do, it's a little different for every single router combination that you have. And so what I would recommend doing is going to Google, Googling the type of router you have, and how to set up port forwarding rules for that router. Now, once you do this, all you have to do is go find your public IP, give it to your friends, make sure that they have also downloaded Curse Forge and installed that mod pack, and then you're good to go. As long as they launch Minecraft from that mod packs page inside of Curse Forge, then it will load up the mods that they need and they will be able to connect to your modded Minecraft server. Now, some other things you might see is that your Minecraft server is being a little bit laggy or sluggish. And this happens because Minecraft isn't used to running all of these extra mods on top of its base game. What I usually do since I have 32 gigabytes of RAM in my computer is I change it to where it's allowed to use up to six gigabytes of RAM. All you have to do in order to increase the amount of RAM that your server is allowed to use is go into the start server.bat and edit it. Now there are gonna be two places inside of here where it has a dash XMX. And that is basically the max amount of RAM that your server is allowed to use. In order to change this, all you have to do is backspace what's currently there and change it, in my instance, to 6G. That basically tells the server, hey, you can use up to six gigabytes of RAM in order to run the server. Now that in general fixes all the laggy and slugginess issues that I've ever had with Minecraft servers. Now, last but not least, like usual, I would always recommend that you make yourself a server admin on a server that you're setting up on your computer. And in order to do this, go into the console page type in forward slash OP and then whatever your username is and hit enter. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did have any questions or issues that you ran into setting up your Minecraft server, please feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to check and try to answer some of the questions just to try to get you set up and running with your Minecraft server. Now, I do hope that this helped you set up your modded Minecraft server. If it did, please feel free to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.